Hello, people of Novi. Today we're going to be talking about Valorant, Blood, and Concrete. With all this and more, and nothing crazy on the opener, this is the Cat's Eye News. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. What's going on, Novi? As you can see, this whole area is fenced off in front of the athletic entrance. That's because they are black topping around the pavement. So be sure you don't try to get around the fences or mess anything up because they just want to get this done as fast as possible. We'll see you later. What's up, Novi? Just a reminder that the blood drive is happening today in the Media Center Forum. If you're a member of the staff or anyone ages 17 or older, you can go ahead and show up anytime during school hours to get your blood drawn. Hey Novi, next week on Tuesday, May 7th, right after school in room 160, the Crochet Interest Group and the Classical Music Interest Group will be hosting their first joint meeting. They'll be making flower coasters for Mother's Day and it'll be a nice opportunity to relax and take a break from your AP test studying. Snacks will be provided, so if you're interested, fill out the QR code on the side here. Hey Novi, the Photography Interest Group is having their next meeting on Friday, May 3rd from 3 to 4 p.m. in MC Lab 1, right across from room 182. They will be using Adobe Photoshop to edit pictures and more. Hope to see you there. Hey Novi, this is Luke, back again to give you some news about AMCC, the Applied Mathematics and Computing Club. They'll be having their next meeting this Thursday, May 2nd, in room 261. They'll be going over AP computer science concepts and reviewing practice tests. Anybody is welcome, even if you're not in the class. So make sure to show up if you're planning on taking the class or just taking the AP test. And as always, this is Luke, signing off. Novi High School senior Rava Chandra was recently named the Michigan High School Esports League Valorant Player of the Year for the state of Michigan. We caught up with him to get his thoughts and reactions. Four years ago, I started um, this game, a brand new game that came out, and I feel like along the way I went through a lot of struggles, went through a lot of fights that I didn't really know I thought I would make it out alive. And I feel like ever since then, I just remind myself that these are the reasons why I keep going in my life, and the people that love me and support me are here to just keep me going. Ravid's individual drive and performances this season have been nothing short of exemplary. But in addition to his own individual accolades, he was also able to lead Novi Valorant to their first ever state title. Here's what he felt led up to that moment. I think the state title for us, um, we really just honestly, at first, at the beginning of the season, we practiced really, really hard. We didn't really get to do much um, time on our own. We didn't really commit, we didn't really have much free time because we committed a lot of our time to this specific um, eSport. And I feel like that at the same time kind of took a toll on us because we realized that it's not all about just playing something or practicing something. I feel like it made us all realize that we're, we are a team and it also is a team-based game. So team bonding, team chemistry, and also individual skills should all be there. And that's why we're here today. And finally, he left us with some words of wisdom for anybody who maybe wants to be like him and pursue excellence in an esport or even just excellence in any aspect of one's life. I just feel like that obsession beats talent every single time. And that's the goal that stuck with me every single day, every single time I played Valorant, because I knew that the more obsessed I am with my passion, the better I will be at um, in comparison to others, which is people who have just pure talent. From all of Novi High School, congratulations, Rabbit. Greetings, people of Novi. I'm here with a quick forensics update. A few people from the Novi forensics team competed in the regionals competition at Groves on April 20th. I got first place in pros, Milan got second place in DI, all that good stuff. More importantly, eight competitors from the Novi forensics team will be going to the state's competition tomorrow. We'll be in Battle Creek for two days, Friday and Saturday, competing in four prelim rounds, then hopefully a semi and a final. The results will be in at the end of the day on Saturday, so I'll let you know how it goes next week. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with the closer. At the end of today's episode, I would like to thank all of you for watching this broadcast of the Cat's Eye News. Nothing crazy on the closer today either. I'm taking a break. As usual, we'll be back with more tomorrow. Up next is your fourth hour teacher. Goodbye.